days, everyone's talking about the Hyundai and the Yugo. Both nice cars if you've got three or four thousand dollars to throw around. But for those of us whose name doesn't happen to be Rockefeller, finally there's some good news. A car with a sticker price of $179. That's right, $179. You can buy a cheaper car, but I wouldn't recommend it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Automation, and more specifically, welcome to Season 2. So this season we're going to have 10 new cars that are all going to compete yet again in the Auto Olympics. And what better way to start Season 2 than with a terrible car? Yeah? Well, it's not terrible yet, but we're going to make it terrible. You see this? You see this hunk of metal right here? Yeah, this is going to become the Nope. Yes. Look at it. It's basically done. So this car is partially based off an SNL skit featuring a fictional car called the Adobe. So basically what the Adobe was, was a Mexican domestic car that was made out of clay and cheaper than a Yugo. Sounds perfect, right? I know. I know what you're thinking. Where can I get one? Well, lucky for you, we're gonna make one. So the Adobe was based off of a car. So that's definitely in the 80s. So we're knocking it back a little bit. We're in 74. The way I kind of see this is like the Western response to the common Turismo. Because obviously they were just sitting across the pond and thought, wow, that thing's fantastic. We should make one here. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's what we're doing. So yeah, we're going uh, straight disaster again, basically. Um, although I think, you know what? Yeah, we'll make it rear wheel drive. Just so that, you know, like, there's some redeeming factor here. And also, unlike the common Turismo, we're not going to drop the quality all the way. Basically, we're going to make something as terrible as the common Turismo. But then, unlike the common Turismo, we're going to actually try and work with it a little bit and see what we can get out of it. I think we're going to go again with the inline 3. Or should it have a boxer? <laughs> should it just have a boxer 4? Yeah, we're doing a boxer 4. Mexico's first domestic car. Naturally, they start with this 0.3 liter boxer. Because why not? Push rod. Oh, the game does not like this. Cast iron. Oh, yeah. It's so tiny. They're always tiny. It's almost like I made it tiny intentionally. Oh, it's so tiny. Well, fucking duh. Crank. Cast iron. Conrods. Cast. Piston. Cast. Variant capacity. Oh, my God. We can make it smaller. Yeah, I'm just going to come back to this. You're getting a carb. A single barrel carb. We're shooting for a better value than, like, a Yugo, except it's, like, 10 years prior. We're going to revolutionize the cheap car industry. Uh, I think low quality sounds fantastic. Cast lug, single, no cat. <sighs> okay, so the problem with the common Turismo, yeah, this is the only problem, is that it doesn't have any mufflers. And it really hurts my ears to drive. <laughs> it sounds like an audio error. So, seeing as this is going to have the similar problem of a 45 minute lap time when the other cars are getting into 2 minutes, uh, I think I'm going to at least baffle it this time, or just, uh, just do something, you know? Hell yeah, 1 horsepower! That is fantastic! Who said I can't make cars? Alright, so we're gonna, we're not gonna make this thing as bad. Oh, that is really probably not what I should be doing, but for some reason I kinda like it. Look at that torque curve! Wow! This thing could almost tow a plastic bag. Alright, let us, uh... That actually got better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stifle that thing. I mean, that was kind of rushed, but, like, am I really gonna get much more out of it? Oh, I got the 12. Can I get a 13? <gasps> I get the 13, but I'm on a fucking race cam profile. <laughs> but do I care? Can we get to 14? Oh my god. This thing is a legend. It's gonna be fantastic in every possible way. Definitely not gonna be a disaster. I don't know why you would even assume that. Oh wait, no, hold on, there was a 15 right there. And then I think we'll call this good. Yeah, no, 7600, yep, yeah, there we go, perfect. <laughs> it's a masterpiece. So before we move on, I'd just like to point out that the, uh, the engine weighs 109 pounds. Oh, it's very good on the environment, we know that much at least. What the heck does it sound like, though? Oh, it's whisper quiet! Wow, 
Why does this sound so good? <laughs> like, that's not just me, right? Like, this thing actually... That sounds pretty good. Now that is a line right there. Oh, at least you can do that. But why Why would you want to lose that, that brilliance right there? Oh, wait a sec. That's weird. But I, I'm, I'm, ki I'm kind of digging it. What the heck am I doing? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> There's literally no reason for this column to be in this shape. It's just there to be there. Wow, that is, that is a phenomenal design. Just make that super swooped back and then just make the back of the car just trash. <laughs> that is such a weird look. <laughs> like, <laughs> nothing about this looks like a normal car. Oh, we can get some fenders there. Oh, absolutely. Sign me up for some fenders. What can we do here? Oh, that's really uncomfortable to look at, to be honest. <laughs> Why is it growing on me, though? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm having a really bad idea for design, and I kind of want to do it, but at the same time, like, I don't just because it's gonna look absolutely awful, but at the same time, <laughs> that's kind of why I want to do it. That's not... <laughs> okay, I was gonna say that's not horrible, and then I went back to the rear, and <laughs> that's pretty horrible. What the heck is that? Like, why is that... Why is there an option for that? All right. This is going to be extremely bizarre. Yeah, just uh, just bear with me on this one, I, I guess. Like, uh, this is going to be a weird one. Yeah, that's, that's a great smooth line all the way down. All right, so moving on to the best part, uh, ha, the fixtures. Um, I mean, these are... Uh, those are fine. I can't. <laughs> so far, like, just with those headlights, this thing looks the most normal of any car I've made yet. And that scares me. Like, that doesn't look bad. That that looks like exactly what you'd expect, which makes me feel the need to alter it in some hideous and deformative way. Okay, that's just weird for the sake of being weird. Okay, that... I don't know. I don't normally like what I'm doing, and this is no exception. Uh, grill. Okay, I've been kind of wanting to try to... <laughs> it looks so sad! Oh my god, it's like, please give me some horsepower. Let's turn that frown upside down. Oh my god, it just got so happy. It's like, boy oh boy, am I happy to be a car. It just looks so satisfied and smug. Like, it looks so confident. It doesn't actually look confident, it looks just straight joyous. I mean, I am actually pretty satisfied with this. I think I need some indicators, but beyond that, I mean, if you have perfection, why mess with it, right? All right, that's bad, but it could be worse. And it looks perfectly happy and content with this design. All right, oh God. Oh yes, this looks phenomenal. Oh yeah, that's it right there. Oh yeah, that's so good. Oh, that's perfect. It's exactly what I was hoping to never see. I don't know, I'm thinking, you know, maybe a little... <laughs> I think I need a moment to just reevaluate what I'm doing. There we go. That looks like a car that you would not want to uh, street race against because it would be cruel and harsh to the owner. All right, unlike the Common Turismo, however, the notebook comes with a radio. Wow, what is this? It's the height of luxury. <laughs> this thing just looks like a... like. Bear with me when I say this sentence. It looks like a shitty pacer. What else can I do back here? I gotta do something else. It just, it doesn't look like there's enough. It looks like there's just so much unused space that really just should be used. You can always tell how good a car is by how much plastic is on it. I would put sport on it, but I don't wanna, you know, just be one of those people who's like, oh, my sports car is faster than your Civic, scrub. You know, the biggest problem with this car is going to be managing the egos of its owners. All right, is there anything else I can do back here, though? I mean, I need a fuel cap. I mean, there's so much space back here. I may as well, you know, we may as well uh, uh, make it explode when it's rear-ended as well. Jeez, it just looks so happy. I love it. It's 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 actually kind of cute. Okay, that's not really super cute, but it's 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 this part's just kind of cute. Uh, so this thing's going to also be... Uh, oh, why do I want to make it a two-speed automatic? 
That sounds awful, but hell yeah. <laughs> that just looks bizarre. It looks like a frog. It really does look like a frog. Okay, uh, that looks fine. That looks fine to me. All right, so let's make these a little bigger, I guess, just so it's not super awkward to look at. So I'm thinking we'll go with standard and a basic AM radio. And we're gonna have three seats in the back, two in the front. No power steering, no traction aid, uh, basic. We can give it some uh, advanced safety as I talk about weight and then give it the most advanced safety to date. Yeah, okay, uh, so what are we looking at here? Oh, that's a lot of things. I need to address these. Okay, so uh, it's usually uh, dampers are always a complaint. So let's just knock those down and see how it looks. They're still hard, okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is we're going to drop that. We're going to pull the offset back and we're going to knock the rear tire width up. Yep, that, that addressed it. Rear brake force is low. Let's hit the brake pad up to 66. All right, let's make them a little bigger. Cheap out a little bit and lower the brake bias so it doesn't ask for as much. <laughs> Perfect. I love that. Consider lowering the top speed setting. Uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but we're there. All right, well, I can't really do anymore. It's <laughs> reduced top speed. I can't. I, I really can't. I, I would do it if I could, but I cannot. It could definitely be. How does hell did that get to 1.7 miles per gallon? What the heck? All right. Uh, I will knock this thing over to beam then. And uh, we'll see how much it sucks. All right. So there is the Nopal. I like to imagine that it has a really low quality light bulb supplier. And uh, whoever buys these things is just going to be constantly in there replacing at least one of the 27 light bulbs on this car all in all i don't think it looks terrible like it could be a lot worse from this angle it looks it looks kind of cute it's it's just the back where things get a little little bizarre um so i did make a few changes from the time that uh you last saw it so it has a different grill because the grill that i was using wasn't exporting properly so the grill is different and then um, I made a slight change to the transmission, so now it's a five-speed manual. But other than that, everything is the same. So uh, the reason I switched it to a manual was just because I needed a lot more gears, because it was just bad. Um, <laughs> here, I'm going to real quick just bring up the other one before I test this one, just so you can see like exactly why it was so bad. So this is the one with the broken grill. So like, yeah, as you can see, the grill just wasn't working. So I just swapped it out real quick. But um, yeah, when I had the two speed, so for starters, when you accelerate, it sounds like it's still trying to turn over all the way to like seven miles an hour. And then eventually around this point, it just kind of, or it, yeah, there we go. Then it stops and uh, you can kind of hear the engine humming a little bit, but yeah, it um it th this with this transmission it was somehow worse than the common Turismo. <laughs> um, this is the version that uh, actually is the one that we're gonna use right off the bat. It's substantially better with this transmission. So this is the transmission we're gonna stick with because it is oh god, it's so much nicer. Is this is this car at least capable of getting up hills? I'm going to assume that this hill shouldn't be too much trouble. As long as it gets like, you know, enough speed going towards the hill, then it should be okay. From a handling perspective, it's not bad, but like at the same time, it's definitely suffering from the common turismo syndrome. So like, I have no idea how it drives because it's not capable of doing any speeds that actually require tuning to control. That was not enough speed. There's no way this is gonna happen at 20 miles an hour. Beautiful, flawless in every way. But uh, yeah, it, it is. It's it definitely leaves a lot of performance to be desired. All right, this is gonna be a wild top speed that we're gunning for here. Don't tell me that we can reach 44. Oh my God, we can reach 44. What else would you want in a car? All right, so 44 appears to be its top speed. That's not bad. That's not. I mean, it's bad, but like. <laughs> 
That'll buff out. There we go. All right, sand. Can you do it? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. All right, so this is how you do it. Uh, I'm gonna count that as a victory. It it, it it can do it can do sand. I mean, as far as like you know, a car that you could use as a daily driver, this is definitely closer than the Gran Turismo. Still, I wouldn't you know take it on the freeway or you know do anything involving transport with it. AKA, I I wouldn't <laughs> trust it. All right, Trial Mountain, as I mentioned, is the season two track. So we're gonna start the season off with the Noble then. Um, and a as you expect, we're gonna get a wildly unrealistic lap time. <laughs> it's probably gonna be a lot less happy when it sees that other cars actually have horsepower. <laughs> it's never encountered another car before, it just thinks that this is totally normal. Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a wild ride. This thing feels like, I mean it's obviously slower than the Barry, but it feels oddly, oddly similar to the Barry. Like, okay, here's the thing. This is a slow car, but it doesn't feel like it's really bad, you know? And maybe it's just partially the fact that it just purrs so nicely. Like, the engine sounds nice. My primary goal here is to just not brake the entire time. Not even, like, just not brake, but, like, not even lift. Do you even lift, bro? No, pal. Haha, <laughs> I do not. Why are there so many missing textures? This was not like this last time. At least I don't think it was. Maybe I'm just tripping, but... I mean, it doesn't affect the track, so it doesn't really matter to me all that much, but... I just don't remember it being there. Still haven't had a need to lift. Let's see if we can keep that going. Alright, coming through the final bit. This didn't feel painfully slow. I think that the difference between this and the Common Turismo is that this car has enough performance that it ha that you still have to stay engaged while you're driving it. You know, you can't just check out and everything will be fine. Alright, stop. Yeah, you can't just check out in this car and everything will be fine. You still have to kind of pay attention or else you will crash. Anyway, about that lap time. So, the Nopal has clocked in the first lap of Season 2 at 4 minutes and 4.81 seconds. Definitely awful time. Um, how can you not love this little guy? It's so cute. It's like a frog. Coincidentally, it also has the same performance figures as a frog. Well, I'm gonna have to take some time and explore this map a little bit. There's a bunch of little back roads here too that I wasn't even really aware of. It's kind of cool. Anyway, yeah. It's bad. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like and let me know down in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next one.